Hi everyone, welcome to the presentation of this SDP paper. The title is Anything Acceleration for non convex ADMM based on Douglas Rajput splitting. This is Wen Chen Ouyang from the University of Science and Technology of China. Optimization is very popular in both academic and industrial areas. It can be used in manufacturing, simulation, parameterization, and architecture geometry. Many optimization problems can be expressed in this form of constraint optimization, where the objective function can be non-smooth. In this paper, we focus on separable text functions, which are popular in solving geometry processing problems, such as peak mesh design, image processing, and the physics simulation with heavy elastic materials. This kind of problem can be conveniently solved using ADMM which is the suitable method to solve this kind of decomposable optimization problem. So, how does ADMM solve it? ADMM aims to find a stationary point of the augmented Lagrangian function L. It solves this problem by using a derivative scheme. First, it solves x while fixing z and y. Then, it updates y and z similarly. Finally, it updates x again. After a certain number of iterations, we will get the solution. It's quite simple to implement, but it may suffer from a common disadvantage of iterative solvers. From this figure, we can see that ADMM works incredibly slow to convert to get the real solution of the text function. It may cost more than 6,000 steps. Even though it can achieve a result with low accuracy in its first tens of iterations. Although this is good enough to provide an initialization or rough solution, we'd like to know if it can do better. Last year, in order to achieve first convergence, we treat ADMM as a fixed point iteration and naturally introduce anything acceleration to speed it up. It actually works. Perhaps you can draw a conclusion from this figure. But we want to explore further, as there are still some remaining issues. But before that, let's briefly explain why ADMM can be expressed as fixed point iteration, and then I'm going to introduce anything acceleration. So, why is ADMM a fixed point iteration? First, the update of zk only depends on xk and yk. xk plus 1 depends on zk and yk. Since zk depends on xk and yk, xk plus 1 also depends on xk, yk only. So does yk plus 1. In this way, ADMM can be treated as fixed point iteration of x and y. Next. I will briefly introduce anything acceleration. Anything acceleration is an established method to accelerate the fixed point iterations. X star is the fixed point, and it satisfies that X star equals G X star. We denote the differences between two consecutive iterates as the residual f. By definition, function g will map a fixed point x star to itself, so the residual of x star is zero. In other words, the fixed point iteration solver searches for a root of the function f. So, how does any acceleration accelerate the convergence of this process? The key idea of anything acceleration is to use the current iteration as well as n previous iterations to approximate the residual function f, and to use this approximation to construct a new iteration that converts faster to the root. Specifically, the n plus 1 iterations span an affine subspace. Within this subspace, each point x is a linear combination of the iterations using its affine coordinates. And this acceleration searches for the point with minimal residual in an affine space whose affine coordinate is alpha. This is the linear least squares problem with m variables. Finally, 
Anything acceleration derives the accelerated iteration xk plus 1 based on the set of alpha. We can repeat this process and use xk plus 1 and its pre and previous iterations to compute a new iteration xk plus 2, so on and so forth. Now let's get back to our work last year. After treating ADMM as a fixed point iteration, we can apply any acceleration on it. It converts quickly now. But one problem is the large dimension of the accelerated variable. In general, the dimension of the accelerated variable is the sum of one of the prime variables and the dual variable, which is typically very large. This resulting great overhand when applying any acceleration on ADMM. One great thing is that under some special assumptions, it can be treated as the fixed point iteration of only one variable instead of two, in which case the accelerated variables can be reduced to only one variable. Based on it, ADMM gets better convergence rate. Unfortunately, we could not promise those special assumptions are always satisfied in general applications, which motivates us to explore more. In order to solve this problem, we propose this method from a different perspective. darkness rutherford splitting is a classical proximal splitting method used to solve optimization problems of the following form, whose target function is separable. The iteration scheme goes like this. V and S can be regarded as the auxiliary variable and the dual variable here. The next question is what's the relationship between ADMM and the Douglas Rutherford splitting? Let's start from the X minimization step in ADMM. After denoting U as AX, we have the first equation. This motivates the definition of phi1, which allows us to derive an expression similar to X minimization step. We can actually get U from matrix multiplication after X minimization step. For the dual update step in ADMM, we shift the atoms in equation to get a new formula which also motivates the definition of xk plus 1. So we can obtain the first equation. It happens to be the u update step in dr splitting. Here, prox h denotes the proximal mapping of function h. Similarly, after rewriting the z minimization step in ADM, we can find that it happens to be the u update step in dr splitting. The specific iteration scheme of dr splitting goes like this. Here, gamma is a constant. You may find out that dr splitting is linked to ADM. Actually, it is shown in a recent work by Smalis and Patrinos that. ADMM is equivalent to ER splitting with an affine transformation of the variables when the target function is separable. Moreover, we can show that the DR splitting is a fixed point iteration. The next question is that why DR splitting is a fixed point iteration? According to the DR splitting steps, both UK plus 1 and the vk plus 1 are functions of xk plus 1. Then the sk plus 2 update indicates that sk plus 2 can be written as a function of sk plus 1 only. This explains why dr splitting can be treated as a fixed point iteration of s, which is the transformation of the variable x and y in its equivalent ADMM. Since dr splitting can be expressed as fixed point iteration, we apply anything acceleration on dr splitting to benefit from its lower overhead. Meanwhile, we can get the variable that we are interested in by recovering the solution of ADMM through the equivalence between ADMM and the dr splitting. We show in the paper that the update of U can be done by a minimization problem of X that is very similar to the ADMM step. Similarly, we can update V while a minimization problem of Z 
similar to ADM. In this way, we return the variables x and v of an ADM. We summarize the comparison with AADM here. General AADM method has high overhead, while reduced AADM has similar overhead with our approach. Compared with AADM, our approach only requires ADM to be separable, which is much more general. To apply any acceleration on it, we still need to do one more thing. This job is related to the instability of anis acceleration. Classical anis acceleration can become unstable with slow convergence or stagnant at a run solution. To improve stability, we define merit function whose decrease indicates the effectiveness of an iteration, which is a similar approach to the work last year. Here is the merit function we use. We compare the two different types of merit functions. One is the primary serial, which is similar to the primary serial of ADM. Intuitively, it evaluates the satisfaction of the compatibility constraint. It's more easier to be computed, but there is no theoretical guarantee that this method can convert to the fixed point. Another one is the DR envelope which has a theoretical guarantee, but its computation is more expensive. We also provide a thorough convergence analysis of our approach. Under the standard assumptions used in the convergence analysis of non-convex DR splitting, we prove that the convergence of thickness of the generated segments of our approach converges to the fixed point of DR splitting. Moreover, its KL condition holds which is the condition concerning the growth rate of the merit function around the fixed point. Then we can prove that the whole sequence converges to the fixed point. Here we will omit the details of the proof. If you are interested in it, we recommend you to read section 4. We test our method in various of applications. This is an example of compressed manifold mode. The target function is composed into three parts. V is the basis function. x1 and x2 are the auxiliary variables. L is the WLC matrix. Tau is the indicator function. The result is shown here. It can be seen that due to the low overhead, our method outperforms AADMM. Though our work is designed for non-convex ADM, it can be naturally applied on convex ADM. Here is an example. This problem aims to compute the mesh deformation component given a mesh animation sequence and the component weights. V is the deformation component. X is the auxiliary variable. V is the input mesh sequence. W is the weight. Omega 1 is the weight the L1, L2 norm. Also, due to the low overhead of our approach, it outperforms AADM again. We next consider the simulation problem with hyperelastic materials. Here, Z is the node position, X is the auxiliary variable. G is the momentum energy. F is the elastic potential energy. W is the weight matrix. And D is the selection matrix. We compare our method with multiple solvers. Since the assumptions for the special case in AADM are satisfied, we also tested the reduced ADM. It can be seen that our approach outperforms the general AADM, but has similar numerical performance with the reduced AADM. Moreover, LBFGS outperforms all the other methods, but let's note that LBFGS can only solve smooth problems, while ADM is mainly designed for non-smooth problems. There are also some limitations of our approach. 
Though our approach has lower overhand compared with AADMM, when the iterative cost of ADMM is very low, this overhand can still result in slow convergence. Here is an example. Though our approach is faster than AADMM due to its lower overhand, it is still slower than ADMM. Let's draw conclusion for our paper. We apply endless acceleration on ADMM based on its equivalent to DR splitting form. This formulation allows us to reduce the dimension of the accelerated variable and generate the special case in the work last year. There are several interesting works that should be done in the future. First, we can only see the acceleration in the experiment. Well, recently, it is shown that endless acceleration can accelerate the convergence of fixed point iterations theoretically. It's very interesting to know that if this acceleration can be shown in our setting. Second, as observed in our experiment, the subproblem for computing the affine combination coefficients can be singular. So we wonder if we can do some regularizations on this subproblem and then get some interesting theoretical results. Third, the equivalence between DR splitting and ADMM only holds for separable target function. We also want to find a way to reduce the dimension of the accelerated variable for inseparable ADMM. Thank you for listening to this talk. Our code is already available at GitHub.